I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, researchers look at a tubular new way to make computer chips, solar cars go racing down under, and the Brits solve a huge problem for beer lovers everywhere. The computer industry is now abuzz with news that computer chip design efforts may get a fresh start using carbon nanotubes instead of silicon. A working prototype computer built by researchers at Stanford University suggests that chips built using the perfectly round and highly versatile tubes would, of course, be faster, smaller, and generally better than those dinosaur-era silicon brains that power virtually every gadget today. Still, no one is playing GTA 5 on the research machine just yet, and researchers say commercial nanotube products are still a ways off. The race is on down under, again, for makers of solar-powered cars. Just like the holiday presents you got as a kid, these cars don't include batteries because they run on pure sun power, which is why they race them in the sunny but searing hot outback of Australia. And there's a new wrinkle this year for the race, which began back in 1987. The object of the new Cruiser class of solar cars is to ultimately make a road-legal solar car, like this entry that carries four people. Unfortunately, those four people have to travel almost 1,900 miles with no AC in scorching heat in order to complete the race. Drivers, start your panels, and good luck. Finally, we're pleased to announce that research funds in the UK are going to worthy projects such as this machine, which can chill your favorite can of suds or soda in less than a minute. Just think, no more frozen beers in the freezer. Yeah, you know that's happened. Called the VTEX, the key to quick cooling apparently involves creating something called a Rankine vortex in the liquid by using special spinning patterns and rotating the beverage container around twin axes, something you'll probably be doing yourself after a few cold ones. God save the queen. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.